Crisis Recovery Network, saving one soul at a time. This is Hamza Alameen. The State Police Community Narcotics Enforcement Team, City of Newburgh Police, and Orange County DA jointly announced the arrest of 15 members of a local drug trafficking operation on Wednesday. Seized during an extensive sweep in Newburgh on Tuesday were 1,000 bags of heroin, 45 grams of loose heroin, 15 grams of cocaine, two handguns, and $9,000 in cash. The individuals that are selling were making a profit of 100 to 300%. There's no other business in our society that you reap a profit like that. That is why these individuals do that. That is why they're mercenaries. Yes, already are raped with the FBI. There was a lot of violent individuals that are now not on the streets, and we see a, a, an immediate result from that. I spoke. Increasingly, we find that the new face of of addiction has changed. There's a market increase in uh, the addiction, heroin addiction of young white women, uh, which is quite disturbing uh, and has led to initiatives to put these people in a position where they can get uh, recovery and not be criminalized uh, and serve uh, long-term uh, incarceration. Uh, this is a cost-effective model and is sympathetic uh, to the community of people that are affected. Uh, we really wish this type of uh, uh, energy would have been put into the crack epidemics of the 90s. But nevertheless, uh, this crisis, and I call it an epidemic now, Newburgh, but this crisis has affected the suburbs from the new in an overproportionate the manner, program that the and state we wish change. Uh, Rupco has bought about 55 of these properties and that uh, they are uh, converting them. But also, we have brothers on the street who want to get involved with mental health delivery systems. That the, We know that if we hire these brothers who have a history, who may have been incarcerated, who may have had addiction issues, mental health issues, we know that they, the people will listen to them and trust them. They know that, we know that if we send the people, if we train these guys and hire them, that the people won't be afraid of them. And because right now, if you tell a black man that you want him to go to the mental health office, he will, he will be beat, beat down with metal hammers. They go to the mental health office. We don't want that. Nobody, the uh, only way to get a black man to mental health is to drag him in with chains. So we want, that's right. That's right. That's right. So we want to put you, we say, say it again, brother. What's, what's your name, brother? Shatoria, get a little closer, introduce yourself. This brother Shatoria. He's looking for a job with our project. He got some scholarships. He's willing to come and work hard and learn and get a credential. Six month program, you can be working. Okay? And you may get a, a job in the first 90 days if you fit in. Okay? So we're going to hook you up with the information. Brother, what's your name again? Lord by here. Lord by here. Uh, we we, we uh, got a brother here with knowledge. Right, we got, say the name again, brother. Go up by here, now with some understanding. On the streets, he's a community person. He knows the half. He's been on both sides of the thing. He sees that they're changing the community, and he, and he wants to keep the, uh, the money, the jobs in the community. Why can't we hire ourselves? Why do we have to go up out of the community to get our mental health services? And why can't they just be family wellness services? They shouldn't have to be uh, mental health uh, services, right? We should get some wellness programs. Just counseling, that's it. So we're going to hook these brothers up with some uh, opportunities and some information where they can contact the training academy. We must act. And, and God the state has allotted we'll over $40 million dollars for the renovation okay. of these buildings. If we want to get something done, let's do it now. Let's get this property. Let's renovate the village. Let's bring back uh, a sense of improvement and quality of living and meaningful life to Newburgh where people need it. And we're going to work together to rebuild this neighborhood if we can. Man, and you have a little something to say. People on Facebook. I'm more than help you. More than help to help you out if okay. it's possible. Okay. Um, we don't know each other. Uh, we have no formal our, relationship. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, you know. We, but we met and we and, and we're going to try to make it happen. We make it happen. All right. Already. That sounds good, Mama. Get some of the. Show them the buildings here. Show them the buildings. We like this block. This is one, and this, yeah, this is, is one. one. It's going to get done. The right people take and, and build it up.
Get this truck, get that building over there, get everything. Get that abandoned building over there. Look at the nice building. Look at that. You know, it could be nicer. Yeah. People, the kids could be playing. Get the, get, the, get the gangsters out of here. It's the gangsters that we got to get out of here. So that's what we worried about. We want to get these guys out. You know, they killing and shooting them. We want to get the gangsters out of Newburgh. We want to get the drugs out of Newburgh. The only way to do that is to bring the butcher, the baker, the candlestick, make them back to Newburgh so they can build programs and do things that are constructive to all the people. Black people, people of color, Latino people. We're here in Newburgh. We want a good place to live and we want to be safe. That's all we're asking for. Thank you very much.